Asian Americans are less likely to seek help when it comes to their mental health. In fact, a lot of Asian American families rarely talk about it. When someone's in a slump, it's usually considered to be something to work through or to get over. Much of the older generation tends to dismiss mental health issues, claiming that one just needs to be strong and resilient or that it'll be fine because of Asian genes, but that just perpetuates the cycle. Without healthy outlets, it's a major invisible problem in the Asian American community. Like, depression is just all in your head. You can totally overcome it. It's just mind over matter. Asian American teenage girls have the highest rates of depression. And although Asian American women have the highest life expectancy than any group in the US, they also have the highest suicide rates across multiple age groups. Asian adults are also the least likely to use mental health services. So, why is there such a huge stigma about mental health in Asian American communities? Because of cultural factors, like restraining emotions to avoid conflict and to maintain harmony, or the pressure of living up to their families and society's expectations, both academically and professionally. For Asian American group, we don't just make a decision because we want to do it. We make a decision after considering what my parents want, what my siblings want, and how am I going to look. Social stigma and shame. Many families believe mental health issues reflect poorly on family lineage and can taint one's social standing. In Asia, you know, anytime we talk about depression, it's a sign of weakness. Weaknesses should be well hidden, you know, behind closed doors. Language is also a huge factor that influences access to care, with many households being linguistically isolated. Age and gender. Older and female immigrants have a harder time adapting to life in a Western country. There are many other cultural factors that create barriers to mental health services for Asian Americans. Not only do they influence mental health, but also the diagnoses of mental disorders. Asian Americans need culturally competent healthcare, which should be tailored to their background and country of origin. But many mental health services and outreach programs don't factor in the cultural differences between each Asian country, as well as the subgroups and dialects within. Many immigrants from Southeast Asia are refugees from tyrannical or oppressive regimes and are at a high risk for post-traumatic stress disorder. Asian Americans born in the United States are at a higher risk for mental illness as a result of assimilating to American culture, which clashes with Asian values. But the way Asian American communities view mental health needs to change. Change really needs to happen. I think we really need to look at everything from different perspectives and the way we do things don't work as much. Don't work like with the mainstream, with other communities. But if we look at how to do things differently, uh, then that will make a difference. Everyone needs support. Asking for help not only requires humility, but also proves that you're strong and it's the bravest thing you can do.